Hello everyone, welcome back to a new ERLC update video. Apologies if my voice may sound a little weird than usual. Uh, I have allergies right now and yeah, it sucks. Anyway, we're going to be going over what came out in today's kind of little surprise update. Um, now, this update came out when I was at school and I got tired when I got home, so... Uh, that's why this video may be coming out a little bit later. But anyway, um, as you can see right in front of us, we have a brand new police vehicle. It is an emergency service truck. It appears to be based off of like a Ford F450, F550. One of those. It's definitely some kind of Ford. And man, this thing looks so, so cool. You guys should be expecting me to make an NYP delivery for it and... I will. Maybe I'll do uh, New Jersey and New York Port Authority too. And uh, the lighting pattern is just one I just found off a of PRC. Um, but it's really cool with this truck is that you can have the option to put on an LED light bar here or these floodlights. I like the floodlight look better. And when you turn on your takedowns, they all light up. Look how cool that is. There's also the other scene lights, which are right there. This truck looks very awesome. I have a uh, secondary light bar in the back here, which you can use for traffic advisor or you just use for your normal uh, code 3 lights. So yeah, there is that. I'm going to switch over to the sheriff team just to show you guys what that one looks like. And here we go. Pretty cool. So yeah, cool stuff. Um, there's also I, I, like a little bug I noticed. Um, in public servers, you're given the option to put on wheel covers. Whoever, I don't know why it, I can't with the, in a private server. Here's the, I guess we'll show off the LED light bar as well instead of the floodlights. The cruise lights do look really cool on this truck as well. So yeah, there's the LED light bar. I like the other one, once again, better, but this one's still pretty cool. And you got your other takedowns as well. Very neat. Anyway, I'm going to be jumping over to DOT now. They've got a new vehicle, sort of. Um, it's just a port over from the police team. They just moved that Chevy Silverado over here to the DOT team. 39,000 and I forgot to mention the ESU truck for the police is a hundred and eighty nine thousand so it is kind of pricey but I mean it looks pretty cool in my opinion so yeah here's the DOT truck with its normal configurations I guess the standard similar to the other one uh, but I believe this one also has the arrow board to it as well. And yes, we do. We do have the arrow board for this truck as well. So you can deploy it just like usual. It's like with the Ford. <laughs> and yeah, there's that. It probably should have stayed on the police team. Uh, but there is a handheld radio right here in your inventory. You'll now get. This is pretty cool. Um, more of like a role play sort of a scenery kind of thing. If you want to take like a picture, but you just pull it out and it'll automatically just start transmitting the radio. So it'll just say hi. It'll uh, automatically go into the little chat here. And there's that. Uh, there's also another new thing. It is a kind of friend bonus. So what that means is uh, for every friend you have in the game with you, you'll get 5% more cash and XP. And this will max out at 20x, uh, 20%. So if you have four friends playing with you at once, you'll, you'll all get 20% more uh, XP and uh, cash. And uh, AFK players or people with lower amounts of playtime will not count towards that. So just so you guys know. 
And then lastly, we're going to check out all the bug fixes. Um, so here we go. In private servers, co-owner plus can now ban vehicle accessories through server settings. I should go look at that real quick. Uh, be called ban or something. Ban vehicle accessories. Here we go. So we can disable the arrow board, the plow, the ALPRs, side window lights, all this stuff. You can disable some liveries as well. That's interesting. So if you wouldn't want a light bar, so we can get rid of the Liberty light bar. And yeah, that won't matter to me because I'm in this server and I own it and that doesn't affect me. But for anyone else who is not a moderator or anything like that, they won't be able to select the light bar. Moderator pluses, moderators are higher, and private servers can now prevent PvP combat using the peacetime command. Premium servers only. So, do peacetime. Not really sure if that did anything. Yeah, maybe there would be like a uh, a thing in the bottom left saying that you that you couldn't kill anybody. But uh, yeah, guess there's that. I'm not really sure how that works though. Uh, added SFX when colliding with metal and wooden fences. Improved collisions with the silo and the farm. When a player hits their panic button, their blip on the or their yeah their blip on the map will now flash. Added cell towers around the map. Fixed sorting available uh, pattern names in the custom livery menu. Fixed getting stuck in the ladder truck when exiting. Fixed EMS liveries being uh, being white in the vehicle preview. Fixed, fixed shooting range targets not showing red when hit. Fixed ELS freezing uh, in the on position. And lastly, you can, uh, you can now mod slash admin someone. Uh, with their user ID if they aren't in the game. Thank you. This is a very nice little change. And uh, yeah, helps out a lot if you want to mod someone so you don't have to find the time and uh, you both get in the same game at the same time. Anyway, that is going to be it. Uh, so far, I actually like this little update. I really do like this new truck. Uh, I think I'm going to go work on some NYPD stuff for the truck. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. And, uh, yeah, see ya.